हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी यूनिक्स लैब सेशन नाइन द टॉपिक विच यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इज ऑपरेटर्स सपोर्टेड बाय बॉन्शल और बैश सो द वेरियस ऑपरेटर्स विच आर सपोर्टेड आर अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स बुलियन ऑपरेटर्स स्ट्रिंग ऑपरेटर्स असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर्स एंड फाइल टेस्ट ऑपरेटर्स सो लेट अस सी वन बाय वन दिस ऑपरेटर्स arithmetic operators we already studied the arithmetic operators uh, in other programming languages the same operators also support unix linux programming okay addition operator we use the symbol plus subtraction operator we use the symbol minus multiplication division modulus assignment operator and equality operator and not equality so how to use these operators in a unix linux programming so this is the way to use the operators with the variables dollar a plus dollar b so if you want to fetch the value from the variables we need to use the dollar here if you don't use the dollar we cannot fetch the values from the variables so if you use here dollar it will add the values of variable a and b same way for subtraction we need to use here minus and for multiplication there is a different way to use the multiplication in unix linux programming we need to use multiplication with the slash operator if you don't use slash operator it gives error then next is division operator then next is modulus operator then we have here assignment operator so whatever is stored in variable b and it will be stored in the variable a so we need to fetch the value from variable b so we need to use here dollar then next is equality operator so we are comparing here two variables okay if these two variables values are equal then it returns true not equality operator compares two numbers if both are different then returns true so even this is going to compare but if both are different then it is going to return true next we have relational operators so relational operators we use for comparison comparing one variable with another variable if you want to use relational operators you need to use those in a square brackets so whenever you are using relational operators for comparison you need to use the square brackets and there must be space here after the brackets there must be a space and before the bracket there must be space so to compare the values we use the operator in unix linux programming is hyphen eq so in between we are going to use here hyphen eq and whenever you are using the operators there must be space here there must be space here between the variables and the operators you can see here there must be space between the variables and the operators if you don't put here the space if you don't give here the space it gives a error so dollar a is equal to dollar b it returns true if both are equal and next is dollar a is not equal to dollar b it returns true if both are not equal similarly greater than you are comparing dollar a with dollar b and returns true if dollar a value is greater than dollar b and here also there must be must be the space in between next you are comparing dollar a with dollar b that is less than so if dollar a value is less than dollar b then it is going to return true then next we have here greater than equal to this is greater than equal to so dollar a whether it is greater than equal to dollar b then it is going to return true next we have dollar a if it is less than equal to dollar b okay so it is like greater than equal to and this is like less than equal to 
and in between there must be space here otherwise it gives error so it, it returns through if dollar a is less than equal to dollar b next we have here boolean operators boolean operators we use either to return true or false to check whether the value is true or false so the first operator is logical negation operator this inverts a true condition into false and vice versa see the way to use this operator is just you need to include here operator and true or false whether you are checking for true or false that means your false means it is going to return true that that means it is going to invert a true true condition into false and false into true next we have here logical or operator so we use or operator in between the two conditions see here here we are used two conditions this is the first condition and this is the second condition so we are in the first condition we are comparing dollar a is less than 20 or dollar b is greater than 100 if one of the condition is true it is going to return true here because in between we are used here or next is hyphen a that is logical and so even with this we are going to use between the two conditions so dollar a is less than 20 and dollar b is greater than 100 if both the condition are true then it is going to return true otherwise it is going to return false and in between there must be the space here otherwise it gives error here also there must be space so whenever you are using the operators there must be the space between the variables and the operators next is string operators a string is a collection of characters and we use string operators to compare the two strings whether those are equal or not equal greater than less than and so on so for comparison of two strings we use string operators so these are the various string operators equal to so we use equal to operator to compare two strings so if both strings are equal it returns true next is not equal to if both strings are not equal then it returns true next is hyphen z can we use hyphen z to check the string is empty okay see here the given string operand size is 0 that means whether the string is empty to check that we use this operator and if the string is empty it returns true next is hyphen n we use hyphen n to check the string is not empty the the string must be not empty if the string is not empty then it returns true and then we use str checks if str is not the empty string if it is empty then it returns false so this is another way to check out whether the string is empty or not so the examples on this are you can see how to use these operators we use this comparison operators with the if conditions see in the string one some string must be stored here so there must be no space here otherwise it use error see no space in str1 we are storing hello and in string2 we are storing world and using the if condition we are comparing these two conditions and if these are equal it returns true another example see here we are comparing is not equal to the operator which we are using is not equal to if these are not equal to then it returns true next hello so we use hyphen n to check the string is empty if the string is empty then it returns true otherwise false we use this operator to check out the string is not empty so now here we have the string we don't have here any value in the string any characters in the string then 
If the condition is true, it returns true, otherwise it returns false. If the string is not empty, it returns true, otherwise it returns false. You can also check out whether the string 1 is uh, less than string 2. Then the operator which you are going to use is less than. But you are going to use in this way. So it is going to compare whether string 1 is less than string 2. It will count the characters. Next if you want to compare uh, whether the string 1 is greater than string 2. You are going to use this operator slash greater than. Then it will return the, if the string 1 is greater than string 2, it returns true, otherwise it returns false. So in both cases you are comparing whether string 1 is less than string 2 and whether string 1 is greater than string 2. If it is true, it returns true, otherwise false. Next is assignment operators. So the list of assignment operators supported are, see, we use this assignment operator, so the value of this will be stored in this variable. And assignment operator we can also use in this way. So this indicates variable equal to variable plus value. If there is a minus then it is like variable equal to variable minus value. If it is multiplication it is like variable equal to variable into value and remaining so on. Next is file test operators. So these operators are going to operate on the file. Now suppose uh, assume a variable file holds an existing file name test the size of which is 100 bytes and has read, write and execute permission. So to find out these all things about a file we need to use here operators whether the file exists or no, what is the size of that file whether a particular file has a read permission, write permission and execute permission. To find out all these things, we use operators and that operators we call it as file test operators. So there are various file test operators but which are important only those will see. So this is the way to use this operator. So the operator name which you are going to use, you are going to specify here and the Argument which you are going to pass. The argument can be a file name or it can be a directory or any other argument. So to check the argument which is passed is a directory, you are going to use this operator. The argument which is passed, if it is a directory, it returns true, otherwise it returns false. Now to check whether the file exists or no. So the argument which is passed, uh, if it exists or no, you are going to use the operator hyphen e. If the file exists, then it returns true, otherwise false. Then the argument which is passed to check whether it is file or no. To check that, you are going to use the operator hyphen f. The argument which is passed, if it is a file, then it returns true, otherwise false. Now, next is hyphen j. Now see a particular file has a user group id and uh, user id. Then uh, to find out that whether the file's uh, group id then you are going to use hyphen g. If it is true then it returns true otherwise false. If it has group id then it returns true otherwise false. Okay if to check out whether the file is readable you are going to use hyphen r with the argument. If it is readable, then it returns true, otherwise false. To check out whether the file size is greater than 0, then you are going to use hyphen s. If it is true, then it returns true. If the file size is greater than 0, then it returns true, otherwise false. Now to check out user id, if a particular file has user id, then it returns true, otherwise it returns false. Next, to check out whether the file has write permission, then you are going to use hyphen w. If a particular file has write permission, then it returns true, otherwise false. And to check out whether the file has executable permission, then it returns true, otherwise it returns false. 
one example we'll see on these operators so the first line you need to always use this which indicates you're using the interpreter and which type of shell you are using you need to specify here so it is asking to enter first number so what are the first number you enter will be stored in variable x now suppose if you enter here 10 now it is asking to enter the second number if you enter the second number like 20 it will be stored in variable y now you are going to add it so what are is stored in variable i it will get added with variable y that is 20 so after calculation it will store the result in variable sum and the result will be displayed on the screen like the result of addition is so whatever is stored in sum will be displayed on the screen that you need to use with the dollar sign now see the way we have used here is see we have used here double brackets we used here double brackets you can also use uh, this way in a unix linux programming but if you want to use in this way the calculation part you need to use double brackets and there must be space here and no dollar signs okay if you want to use dollar signs you are going to use in this way like sum is equal to sum is equal to then dollar a there must be space now we are used here x the there is dollar x there must be space and then dollar y so this is another way to use for addition so order is stored in dollar a dollar x 10 plus 20 will be stored in this sum that is 30 so these are the various operators which are studied in today's session in the next topic we will see some another concept Thank you.